Good afternoon. Today on Business Success in Six with Stacy, I have Adam Smith here, owner of Freight 38 in Walkers Point, Milwaukee, Wisconsin. Adam, thanks for jumping on with me. Happy to be here. So I have not gotten to interview anybody that owns a nightclub and banquet kind of center. So if you don't mind, I'd love to ask you eight questions or six questions about Freight 38. Of course. All right, here we go. When people ask you what Freight 38 does, how do you describe your business? Um, I like to get a little creative with it. Um, people ask a lot, what do you do? What do you sell? Um, I like to think that we're selling an experience, uh, an atmosphere, like a social kind of uh, atmosphere that's unique to the space and in and of itself. So um, the practical answer is that we're a lounge and we're a rental space. So we're, we're a hybrid. We have private events and we also have our own reoccurring weekly themed events that are centered around kind of the dance culture so we have a latin night where we do free latin le dance lessons um do performances get a lot of instructors down here and then we have uh an afro beats night which is kind of centered around west african um music that's popular right now uh retail vendors that are on rotation that are relevant to the the west african theme uh, different food vendors, so kind of like a cultural experience within that music style, but uh, it's a long-winded answer to a probably that, that's your, a your great, question. great answer. Very fun, very different, a lot of opportunity, and definitely experiences, like you said there. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. So what were your plans when you started Freight 38, and how have they changed? Uh, the plans when we first started were kind of... Um, We open up on a whim. Um, the business that the, the, the space I'm currently occupying, uh, my former tenant left quite unexpectedly. Mm -hmm. So the business concept as it is now um, kind of got fast forwarded into this front space. Uh, it was always going to be a lounge and kind of like a eclectic gathering space, which is kind of what it is today, um, just in a different part of the building. So there's a couple areas that are still in development that I'm hoping to uh, get those developed in the next couple of years. Okay. Well, one of the things our coaches say is to get stuff done fast. And if you're put in a position where all of a sudden you have this open space, you did absolutely that. So congratulations. Because when we get stuff done fast, we have the opportunity to succeed or to change so we can continue to succeed, right? Couldn't have said it better myself. Awesome. What is the biggest way that you impact the community? Now, you said that you give um, Latin dance lessons. Tell me more yeah. about that and some of the other ways you impact the community. Um, so, yeah, I like to think that uh, being um, a part of the, the near South Side community, we have a large uh, Latino presence. I am myself am um, mixed race. I'm half Latino. So I kind of grew up with the music and the dancing. So to to allow my community a safe space to, you know, do that is a big deal. Absolutely. Yeah. And to share your culture with other people. That's so incredible. And then yeah. the same thing with the West African music as well. That's really, really neat that you're doing that for the community. So Yeah. I, and I have a lot of great collaborators, you know, to kind of assist me into that. Uh, Gideon Williams and I kind of partnered up on that concept and, he facilitated bringing in the vendors and, you know, choosing uh, relevant um, vendors that kind of build that community. So happy to uh, be a part of that. Well, thank you for doing that. What is one challenge that you have faced that other business owners could learn from? One, huh? Just one. <laughs> um, <laughs> I like to say COVID, COVID shutdown. Mm -hmm. Um to be faced with a, uh, a daunting loss of revenue with no, you know, uh, plausible resources was kind of uh, scary, angry, and all those kind of emotions mixed into one. Um, <clears throat> the, the, the bright side of that is that, you know, being a business owner and having to in and understanding that there's always a constant need to react at the drop of a dime to market changes or conditions, um, the ability to make choices fast and to execute fast uh, is very important. So we kind of uh, 
pivoted into having having larger events with more people to micro events with smaller people. Sure. So the business concept kind of changed to let's do all these micro events condensed into short months of time, just a lot of them. People are still gathering. You know, there's still a segment of people that still need space um, for, you know, many different types of things. Mm -hmm. So we, we like to think that we filled that need and that gap. Very interesting. Thank you for that. So what does the future look like to Freight 38? And do you have an exit plan? Uh, the future looks bright. That's great. Uh, <laughs> Tell me more. <laughs> the sun is out today. So I'm, I'm inspired by, you know, the sunshine we're having. Um, the future was, is, and just to continue developing the space. There's a couple areas that are still yet to be developed that are kind of going to be um, comparable businesses that flow into each other. Okay. So um, that's exciting to kind of see how that is built out and kind of see how people respond to that. Um, I'm, I'm hoping to secure the space this year. I'm at year three of business and you know, post COVID, the banks were a little leery of, you know, traditional financing for mm -hmm. a business that was shut down. So um, business has been very, uh, business has been a blessing. So I'm um, looking forward to exploring that and in the future and um, the exit strategy, you know, with a lot of people in real estate, including myself is to um, buy, on the upswing of development in the community. Mm -hmm. I, I was fortunate enough to acquire the space uh, 10 years ago when Walker's Point was still on the upswing. Absolutely. So got a, got a bit of equity I'm hoping to unlock in the next couple of years um, with the space, so. Absolutely, well, congratulations on that. So my final question for you is all subjects open. What inspires you most? Oh, today, um, today what inspires me most well i guess the 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 life work health balance is always um something relevant as an independently employed person so um i fit into my jeans today <laughs> That's um, awesome. for the first time in uh, about a year so congratulations <laughs> i lost three pounds and i lost the size or but um that is awesome. Yeah, it's always important to keep in mind that because as a as a self-employed person, you work so much, you have to make sure you get the energy mentally and physically to to do those things. So it you know it's been a focus this year to kind of make sure I got enough gas in the tank. Absolutely. That's very inspiring for, for so many. So thank you for your time today. If somebody wants to come to Freight 38 or see the different events that you're hosting or rent, what's the best way for them to get a hold of you or your business? Um, I'd say check out the Facebook page. We post uh, a lot of galleries frequently, a lot of videos, a lot of uh, things that we're doing uh, consistently. And uh, we're open Thursdays and Fridays to the public at nine. Um, great experience either way, kind of to take a peek at one of Walker's Point's uh, historical spaces and to maybe have a drink while you're here and you know bring a friend and have a good time. Awesome, thank you so much. Well, good luck this year with all your plans and also just finding that work-life balance. Thank you so much, Adam. Thank you. Take care. Nice talking to you.